Okay, today I want to talk about creation and why that is important to anyone, but specifically if you have anxiety. Now, with creation and me, I have always used it as therapy, in a sense. And what I mean by that is when I first learnt that anxiety is simply just energy and panic attacks are just a release of adrenaline and adrenaline rush, so in other words, just energy, I realized that I could, you know, transmute my energy towards anything that I desired. You know, obviously, if I'm in an anxious state and I'm thinking more about being anxious and I'm like, oh shit, I'm really anxious right now, it's not going, you know, your energy is going directly to the source of the anxiety and it's not you're not going to feel better about yourself or how you feel. You're not going to be present. You're going to be thinking about just the anxiety and you're not going to be feeling okay or safe or, you know, at all okay. So uh, once I realized that, it's quite powerful. Once you realize that, it's quite powerful as well, that you can transmute your energy, you know, down to the very essence of, of human life. I think that everything is energy. Everything is energy. Absolutely everything. You know, any... You're in a bad mood, that's energy. You're in a good mood, that's energy. And, you know, have you guys had a day where you're going to work or you're going to somewhere and, you know, you've had a, not a great morning. Let's say you woke up late. Uh, there was traffic on the way to wherever you were going to. Let's say, as an example, for work. And then for whatever reason, though, at work you did a few things wrong and made a few mistakes and were silly mistakes. But by the end of the day you did some good stuff and you did some good work and you were very productive and all this sort of thing. Have you noticed that then you're in a good mood and you think back to this morning, you're like, oh, that was so silly that I was worrying about that. Well, that's simply because it's just energy, right? It's not about what happens to you. It's about how you react to what happens to you. I think that's a very important quote. And I'll repeat that again. It's not about what happens to you. It's about how you react to what happens to you. So if, for example, you have a panic attack, you could see it as the end of the world, I'm just going to go home, I'm going to sleep all day, I'm not going to be productive. Or you can realize you're having a panic attack, accept it, and use that energy towards something else. And that something else, in my opinion, should definitely be creation, especially when you're on a journey of trying to get through your panic attacks. So how I did this for me was writing music. Uh, I've released a multiple, a plethora of songs, if you will, probably not a plethora, but I've released quite a lot of songs and written a lot more. Uh, and this was my way of releasing and expressing how I feel. Now, it's very important to express how you feel. Uh, feelings are important, but at the same time, they are not everything. That is very important to know that, that feelings are, every, uh, are important. They're definitely important but they're not everything. They are just an indicator. So, what I mean by that is, if you feel anxious and you have an upset stomach and that brings you anxiety, although it's, it's indicating, oh, maybe I have anxiety and I'm anxious, or it's indicating, maybe I'm just hungry, nine times out of the 10, it's gonna be, I'm just hungry, but, our brain, once going into a certain pattern and certain, certain habits, would go towards the anxiety route. So, anyway, that's just a little side tangent. But, yeah, creation. And I urge everyone to create. Now, this doesn't have to be through music. Uh, it can be through poetry. It can be through journaling. It can be through singing. It can be through dancing. It can be through anything that makes you feel alive and in the present moment. So for me, when I was having a panic attack, there was not always times where I could journal. Because I found, for me personally, journaling about what happens and what I'm feeling really, really helped me in, to gain clarity in my mind. But there were times when I would be so irritable, I wouldn't be able to even focus on journaling. And so the second thing that I would do would play guitar, get that energy out. You know, by playing guitar, transmuting the energy, the adrenaline, and, and playing guitar, and that would really help. But also, you know, I, let's be realistic here. When you're in 
a panic attack and you're having a panic attack, there are many times where you feel dizzy, disorientated, you can't even think properly, right? Maybe the, the, the best you can do is speak, but it's all in jargon, very quick sentences, and it doesn't really make much sense to other people. Well, what I urge you to do then is to go onto your phone, and this is, it works on Android and Apple. You can go into the Voice Memos app and you can just record yourself. You know, explain what's happening right now and why you're feeling this way. If you don't know, that's okay. You don't need to know. You don't need to know. Majority of the time, there is a reason why you're having a panic attack, but if you don't know in the moment, don't worry about it. You're just having, it's just happening. So, talk to yourself and say the symptoms that you're having, but at the same time, don't just be like in a victim mindset about it. You know, affirm to yourself that you're going to get through this and that you will be okay. And this, uh, in conjunction with those daily affirmations, um, which, you know, you can just look up panic attack affirmations or something like that. I'll make uh, some affirmations videos in the future, but for now that's what you can do. You know, you're just affirming those things to yourself. Um, and if you really can't even do that, I would, um, when you are not having a panic attack, I would record yourself, and I've done this in the past, record yourself saying, you know, whatever affirmation you want, I'm in control, I'm okay. This is just an adrenaline rush. It's uncomfortable, but it's not dangerous. Those sort of affirmations. And when you're in that state, you can put your headphones on and just listen to yourself, which is at a calm state. Tell yourself in the present moment that you're going to be okay. I think that's really powerful, though. You know, it's, it's good to get someone else, you know, on YouTube and stuff to say as an affirmation. It's like, you're okay, you're okay, you're okay. But I think it's far beneficial, far more beneficial to tell yourself that. So you record it when you're in a calm state and then when you're in a heightened, scared, you know, panic, anxiety state, you listen to yourself, you know, it, it makes sense, right? I don't have to explain it. I think that is really, really beneficial though. Um, and that can just go into creation as well, you know, because that, that, that counts as creation. So... I think that everyone should create, whether you have a desk job, whether you, I don't know, whether you have a hands-on job, whether you, whether you don't even like music, whether you don't like drawing, whether you don't like writing, anything like that. I think you should just try it. It's like meditation, I would say. You know, with meditation, people will say after a month, oh, I can't really get into it, I've had enough. You're never really going to, you're never really going to be like a professional meditator. You're never really going to get it. It just becomes a thing. And it just... I don't know. How do you explain that? It, it For me, it becomes a routine and it becomes something and a habit. And there are days that are good. There are days that are bad. So I would say that you just keep doing it. Um, and it becomes a habit. And you find that that habit over time makes you feel better. So I'd say that's a similar thing with creation and um, creating. Same as journaling. For example, if you journal the first few days, even the first day, you write like, I don't know, a couple of sentences and that's all you can get because you're like, I don't know what to write about, what the hell do I write about? But then you keep doing this habit and you'll start writing pages and pages and pages and pages because you get used to it. So. I think that's really important as well, is to um, stick with the creation. And choose something that is fun. Uh, don't choose something that's boring. Like, don't do journaling if you don't really want to journal. Don't, especially don't play guitar or sing if you can't sing or don't want to sing and you don't want to play guitar. You know, pick something for you. It can be co a colouring in book. I know that they've gone really well, the adult colouring in books. Um, they've done quite well in terms of like calming you down and all that sort of thing. Um, so you can do that. You could draw, you could go for a walk. It's as simple as that, just creating different habits and creating. I know that doesn't going for a walk doesn't sound like creating, but if it calms you down, it calms you down, and it's important to do whatever that is. So, yeah, I just want to urge everyone to create, and especially if you're in that anxious state, I think it's really, really important to do that. And give it a try next time. Let me know in the comments below if it's helped you or what has helped you in the past. 
if there's anything, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.